guys, it is me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Make It a Monday project, and today we are making this really fun layout. It says Happy New Year 2018. It'll also hold two 3x4 photos. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, that verifies that you were logged in. On this page, you're going to scroll down until you come across the What's New for Cricut Access. Click on View All. In the upper right hand corner where it says Cricut Access, click on that. We're going to scroll all the way down and click on Photo Memories. This will bring up all the layouts. On this page, we're going to scroll down to find the one that we want. That is right there. It's called the Love, Love, Love Layout. I'm going to click on that. It'll bring up the preview window. Now on this screen on the bottom left hand corner you can see there's a price tag of 99 cents. If you scroll down you can see all the shapes and images they're using. And the one they want to charge you for is the heart. We're going to remove that heart at our own heart so we're, we're able to cut the layout up for free. Alright, bottom right hand corner, click on customize. Give that a second to load up. All right, so we have our hearts there. I'm gonna click on those first to remove them. That one here, and also this one there. I'm gonna grab my own heart now. Left-hand side toolbar, click on shapes, click on the heart. And we'll just resize it, make it be a little bit larger like they had their heart. Rotate it a little bit. I'm gonna right-click on that heart and choose duplicate. Make the next one a little bit smaller. Rotate that one. It'll go toward the top. Right click on that one again and choose duplicate and bring this one down to the bottom. So now we have our own hearts that we're able to cut out for free. And right, now we have the 12 by 12 piece that they're using for the layout. If you see here the word love is cut out of that. I want to have just a blank sheet. So I'm going to click on the 12 by 12 piece. Bottom right hand corner, click on contour. We can see all the cutouts there. I'm going to go to click on hide all contours. Click on the X to close that window. Now you see they're all gone. I'm also going to remove the word love, so I'm able to create my own title. And this little piece here I'll remove by clicking on that. I'm going to drag these guys to the top left of the page. All right, left-hand side toolbar, click on images. In the search box, type in the word new year. Click on enter. And the one I chose is this one here. If you click on the I, that is from the Home for the Holidays cartridge. I'm going to click on that. Bottom right, click on Insert Images. I do want to resize it. This is my title, so I want it to be pretty large. I'm going to click on this little band and move that out of my way. All right, so I think that's a good size. So my size here is the width 5.11 and the height is 6.347. I do want to add the year 2018. So left-hand side toolbar again, click on Images. In the search box, type in 2018 and click on enter. And you can choose any format you like. I chose this one, which is from the Days and Dates cartridge. Bottom right, click on insert images. I'm going to bring this down. I do want to resize it to fit on my Happy New Year. I'm going to unlock the lock, just kind of wiggle with it, get it how I like it. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I do want to weld the number to the title here. Before I do that, though, I do want to make a copy of the number. So I'm going to right click on that piece and choose duplicate. Set that aside. Now click on the number. Once you're happy with the size, hold down shift on your keyboard. I'm actually going to move it over a little bit. Okay. Hold down shift on your keyboard and then click on the title. They're both selected. Bottom right hand corner, click on weld. Now that makes that piece there be one shape. I do want to change the color of that. Right hand side toolbar, click on color sync. I want to make it be this dark gray color. So I'm going to click on that and drag it to that dark gray layer and we'll see that change. The number here, I want to make that be the same pink that we have. I'm going to drag and drop that as well. I'm going to right click on this piece and choose move to front. I can put this on top of that one. Right now, I'm also going to go to the bottom left hand corner design space and click on the minus sign one time. This way I can see the entire layout. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go play around with those. 
Now the hearts, I don't want them to be black, I want them to be red. So I'm gonna click on the heart here, right hand side toolbar, click on layers. You'll see where it is, it'll be highlighted. I'm gonna click on that and make it be a very berry color. Go back to color sync on the right hand side toolbar. I'm gonna to grab my other two hearts and drag them to the red layer. So they'll change as well. All right, now we have this piece here, this white piece, this white piece, and this one here. Therefore, our photos, I'll be using two three by four photos. So I'll remove all these guys. Left hand side toolbar, click on shape. I'm gonna click on a square. Bring this over. I'm gonna resize it, go to the top toolbar. I'm gonna to unlock the lock and make the width here be 3.25 and the height is going to be 4.25. I do want two of those. I'm gonna right click on that and choose duplicate. I can put these on top of the layout here. They won't be black, they'll actually be a photo. But I did make them larger so it's a photo mat. I want these to be the same color maroon as that is there. So again, right hand side toolbar, color sync. I'm gonna click on my black pieces and drag them down to the maroon layer. Now I do want a backdrop for the Hello New Year. Left hand side toolbar, I'm gonna to click on shapes. I'm gonna click on a square. I'm gonna put the square on top of my piece here. They can just be a tad bit smaller. Unlock the lock, then bring it down to the right hand corner. Again, I'm just a tad bit smaller than the actual pieces. My square is 4.981 by 6.185. I'm gonna make this be yellow. So on my right hand side toolbar again, color sync, I'm gonna click on the black piece, make that be yellow. I'm gonna click on the number here and choose move to front. Grab this guy again and choose move to front so I can see how that looks. All right, that looks pretty good. The last thing I'll change is the color of my paper. They have it being like a light gray color I don't want it to be white, so I'm going to go to click on that and make it be a white color so I can see how that looks. All right, looks pretty good. Upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on make it. So we have this mat there, which I'm not going to cut because that's a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. We have our dark gray, our lighter gray, our yellow, our maroon color, the pink, and the red. Bottom right, click on continue. I'm going to cut all these out with a table and put our project together. Alright guys, we have everything cut out. I'm going to first start separating the colors here a little bit. Alright, so we have our little hearts. I'll be following along on my screenshot I took. Alright, so we have the dark gray first. I'm going to glue those guys down. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I get it from MayMayMadeIt.com. Put this on the one side over there. Then we have the larger circle. It's gonna go about right there, I think. Okay, and then this one will go down here. Then we're gonna work on our lighter gray. here. The other one will come down here at the bottom. Okay, and then we have our yellow. We have the one that has the end cut off. That will go here. And then so this is actually the beginning of my Project Life album for 2018. I thought this would be kind of like a fun page to do. I'm just going to grab our Hello New Year. I'm going to flip it over and just put a few dollops of glue just here and there, just enough to keep it down. It's going to go inside a sleeve, so I'm not too worried about it, but I don't want to poke it up either. So just a little bit here and there. Before I do that, see my 20, my, my two 
in 2018 kind of tore, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. The other one will hide that. Okay, now I'm going to take my yellow piece and put this on top. I should have glued this part down. I guess I can go ahead and put it down. Okay, I'm going to put this down where I want it to go. I want it straight, hopefully. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and grab these little pointy things. <laughs> I think there's three for the top, and I need to flip this up and put one little dot of glue behind that. And get enough over there. Is there three up top? Yeah. Okay, so we have those three. All right, then we have the other the other two go on that larger heart. Maybe they want to charge it. 99 cents for a heart. That's crazy. But before I do that, I need to glue this little strip down. And again, I'm just going to put like a few dots of glue over it. Okay. I'm just going to glue this guy down. It's been a long time since we made a layout. I right, put our heart down. Cute. And our other heart. So there's actually no journaling on this page at all. Here the title kind of says what it is. Okay, and our other heart will go down here. Then we have the 2018 to go on top of this. I might want to pop that up. I think I do. I'm going to flip it over and put some foam squares on it. I like something being popped up. I'm going to try not to use a gazillion of them. Two more, maybe, or one more. There we go, kind of even that out. All right, now I got things stuck to me. I'm going to give all of them a squish in the back and take the backing off. So, this is a longer video than normal because of the computer part because we kind of changed the layout entirely, just left the, the one side. So I do apologize for that, but I want to make sure you guys see everything I did. All right, now go ahead and plop this on that one. Perfect. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add those things before I lose it. To the heart. So the time it kind of ties in that pink. Okay. All right. Now my photos. I cut the photo mats down. This one is uh, two and no three by four. This is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And the photos I have. This is one from. Um, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, which is our local place. They just tweeted out on Facebook, uh, like a warrant. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is searching for Elsa, Queen of Arendelle. She has a warrant out for arrest for bringing cold weather to Florida. Floridians would like their warm weather, their warm weather back. Hashtag not letting it go. I thought that was kind of funny. So I'm going to take this one and glue that to this one. Right, and then this one is a 
picture I took from the TV, not the best picture of the Mummer's Day Parade. We were able to stream that live through some Philadelphia channel. Because up north, we don't, or up here in Florida, down here in Florida, we don't have access to the Mummer's Parade. And up north, and, and we lived in PA, we always, always watched it. So, hubby surprised me by getting that. I love the Mummer's Parade. All right, let's gonna glue these guys down. Put one over here. Yeah, it's kind of grainy, but you get the idea. So again, this is gonna be the first page of my Project Life album for 2018. The back side, I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. I might just add miscellaneous photos, or I might put like a January goals, maybe, and then we'll just do a layout like this the first of every month or the ending of the month. We'll see. I'm gonna take these little backings off. But there you have it, my friends. There's our Make It Now Monday project. We kind of made it our way, which is the best part of Make It Now. You know, I always tell you guys to make it now, but you can also make it your own. Any questions, guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.